So I want to briefly cover gross base humidity because it's something that's often forgotten about. If not treated properly, it can drastically impact uh, your plants that you're trying to grow. So first off, what is humidity? It's the moisture in the air. Kind of like this kind of like fog in the air, if you will. It's kind of that hanging humidity, hanging moisture. Uh, temperature, though, does affect the amount of water air can hold, and that's an important factor to keep in mind that that temperature regulation will also directly impact your humidity. Warmer air can hold more moisture, uh, so moisture holding capacity doubles every 20 degrees Fahrenheit um, increase in temperature. This is why typically in the morning, in the cool mornings, you'll find dew on the grass. It's because that moisture that was in the air can come out of that air and then attach to the surfaces of the grass blades. Relating this to your uh, grow area, um, the target humidity levels will vary with the stage of the plant. So clones are 70 to 90% humidity would be ideal, that high humidity environment. Then as they progress and get older, you slowly reduce that humidity. Vegetative 50 to 60%, flowering 40 to 60, and then the curing room should be the driest, a maximum of 45 to 55% uh, humidity there. So you can see the spider webs here showing that varying amount of humidity, varying amount of moisture. It is important to keep track of it and also know what stage your plants are in and about where you should be at as far as humidity goes so you're reducing the stress on those plants and temperature as i said can influence that so it's kind of important that these two things correlate together for an efficient grow operation